Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Fisk of Fury 6092, and welcome to Well the Tank Stories. Um, I have played this. I had a recording of this a long time ago, a uh, first reaction thing, but the video got corrupted and I've already completed most of the story and stuff like that. But now, I think I'm going to show you a little bit what the story's like, and also, um, just basically talk about it, how, what a big difference it is now, and having a new game mode, it's actually pretty cool in my opinion. But we'll talk about the pros and cons, but let's see, what tank should I pick for the first one? Well, obviously this was a tier 5, so it'd be fair fitting to pick a tier 5. So, I'm going to pick the T14 as the first battle. And we're going to have a cutscene, and I will see you on the battlefield as soon as the cutscene's done. Not every American tank built was destined for the U.S. Army. Some were transported through the Persian Corridor into Russia. From the steelworks of Detroit straight to the Eastern Front. And it wasn't just tanks that wound up in Russia. The Americans sent experienced combatants, too. Colonel Peters had joined the Russian advance into Romania. With the news spreading that a second front had opened up in France, both sides knew this was a critical turning point in the war. position on the hill. Peters and his Russian crew were about to get their first taste of action as a joint force. All right, here we are. Um Forgive me if they're talking and I'm talking over them. It's just I got my TV muted so that way you guys can hear the audio better without no all the echo. But let's get Russian into this. Armor. Well, obviously the first part of the chapter is to defend the tanks from incoming Germans. And it gives you a little tutorial how to play the game as well. So this is good for new beginners as well. Now, you won't be able to pick your tank until after the story is done. Like, basically when you complete all three chapters. But I've already done it, so it's pretty sad because I wanted to show my first reaction towards it. I actually love the comic book kind of deal to it. But I kind of wish, though, it was kind of like moving animation on it. Like actual, you know, like you see in those little trailers or something like that. Something like that. That would have been awesome. But I guess they couldn't do it, but it gave Dark Horse something to do. Because <laughs> if you... If you don't know who the, um, the comic Arthur is, those are uh, Dark Horse, the same people that made the Snakebite series, the Snakebite, the Craft Panzer, the Boilermaker and stuff. They're the ones that made the uh, artwork of that. And right now these Germans are getting owned right now. <laughs> these low tier tanks just charging on up. You would think that they would stop and try to shoot me since I'm shooting them above. Alright, let's move to checkpoint B. So yeah, in story mode, it talks about like stories of some events that actually happened. Because apparently in history, I don't know much about American history during the war. I know a lot of German history, but American, not really my thing. But apparently we gave them a lot of our Shermans? The Russians? I, I don't remember hearing that in history. I never heard of a, you know, a Sherman battalion giving... Um, Soviets are Shermans. Like, I, I thought they were too far away from one another to get any shipments to one another. Because you gotta remember, during this time, Norm like they said in the storyline, Normandy was already taken, and then it was a turning point of the war, but 
there wasn't much land or way to get over to Russia unless they shipped it from the west, but that's a hell of a haul. There we go. Oh, I had to lead the shot. Oh, that was a good hit. Amorak. See another guy? Shoot him. Ah, fuck me. Can I hit him again? Right. Now, in case you're wondering, you're hearing a German crew. It's because that's my officer. I know, I need to switch him back to the U.S. kind of officer, but still. I, I know what he's saying, though, sometimes. But I can't hear what he's talking right now because I've got my TV muted. Ooh! That was a good hit. He'd end up a burning wreck. Keep the Sherman moving. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. The artillery bombardiers. All right, coming over here. There should be yep. Stu Panzer tools. All right, got his engine. And he's dead. I should load high explosive because these are just artillery. Move over here. Take the other already. There he is. And... What? Oh, I hit his thumb that one. There we go. <laughs> I was like, how did that not do a lot of damage? And then I realized, oh, that was his gun matlin. Whoops. Oops, sorry guys. Just sitting back in my chair. Ugh, getting comfortable. Yeah, it's been a hell of a week for me, so yeah, I'm just trying to unwind and relax, and I was like, what video can I make? And I'm like, eh, World of Tanks story's been out for a while, but I like to give my personal opinion on it. Okay, he's dead. Oh, come on. Yeah. Don't be a dick. Don't, no, no, don't, come on, don't outrun my little gun. With the German yeah. tanks routed, Peters looked at his Oh, no, I would like this mode, in my opinion. Test admirably. It's a really fresh thing. Oh. Sorry, they're talking. Sorry, guys. Like I said, I just can't hear on the other side. Yeah, but I really, really like these types of mode. Because it, it's refreshing to play something different. It's refreshing to do something cool and uniquely different. I mean, yeah, it's the same old kill or catcher, all that. But to me, it... It feels different because there's a story mode and there's different objectives. Like, you'll see in the next uh, game what I'm talking about. So let's head back to the garage real quick. Now, in this game too, see, like that's the Sherman I'm supposed to play in story mode, but I'll show you. You can also upgrade your Shermans and stuff throughout the game when you play it and upgrade your Sherman. Like, mine's fully upgraded, but I don't want to use it because, well... Even though I like this tank, and for some strange reason, I have a gut feeling they're going to make this a premium tank. As soon as the story series is over, they're going to make this new a premium tank. But for now, let's play something else. Let's try the movie Fury. Yeah, let's try that American tank. Keeping a tradition with the Americans. Alright, let's begin the next story with the Americans. Here we go. The German preemptive strike had been fierce. The Soviet losses, heavy. Regardless, the orders still stood. The Russian offensive would continue as planned. Colonel Peter suddenly found himself caught up with the push towards the enemy front line. The Russian Shermans had managed to stem the German onslaught, but they lacked the necessary reinforcements to press home their advantage. One thing was clear to Peters. They needed more tanks. It was now a race against time for the Russians. They could make for the disabled tank and turn it against their enemy, or engage the German patrol directly with the remaining Shermans. Peters prayed they would make the right call. Peters rallied his crew. It was their turn to strike back at the Germans. Okay, here we are. So yeah, this is where I was talking about, like, 
the objectives change. Now I gotta capture four areas with um, tanks inside them to basically turn them against the Germans, which that was something uniquely different. I like that. Because it, it felt something new. Oh. Hands up four. Woo! Almost could block that. <laughs> Come on, Gunner, hit him! There we go. Let's catch with the base. Peters had a plan. And there we he go. And we got our tank as our ally. And turn them against That's the enemy. pretty cool. Also, there is also objectives. There's like you see on the top uh, left corner, right above where my tanks highlighted yellow and their tanks is highlighted. Yeah. Um. Those are bonuses objectives, and if you complete all the bonuses, um, you get um, special rewards at the end. Like, complete the mission without picking up anything, that's a given. Capture tanks limit to three. See, you don't have to capture them, you can go straight forward and just capture the base by yourself and destroying everything. But to me, I like to have some sort of Germans on my side, and oh god, I'm almost half out. I'm not even, I didn't even capture two bases yet, and I'm already half elf. Alright, let's capture this. Good, now we got a light tank. Uh, I'm gonna try to get that arty though. I actually, no, I want a heavy tank, so I'm gonna go over there and get the um, heavy tank far right. Can you go any slower there, German? <laughs> I mean, the battle's already done. I'm turning around right now. Keep up with the Shermans. <laughs> Alright, so we're going this way to get that heavy tank you see over there. And it's a VK 36.1. Really useful to have in the engagement of the uh, German's base over by the north. So yeah, guys, uh, I've been busy for a while and stuff like that while this tank's driving over there. Yeah, I've been busy with some stuff. I also had my name change, as you can see when I press back. But don't worry, it's not going to stay that way. It's definitely going to go back to Fist of Fury. If not, I may keep the name. But you can, I'm still called Fury, so don't worry about that, guys. You don't have to worry about saying, how do I say this name? You don't have to worry about it. I'm still Fury. I'm always will be Fury. I've been known for that for like how many years now? Oh, really, buddy? You're gonna hide behind the tank? You cheap motherfucker! Die! Just die! Just die! Just die! Just die! Just die. Just die. Just die. Ugh. All right, let's capture this. Any feek? Except for our one problem, running out of bullets. I'm gonna try using high explosives now. On tanks that are really weak. Alright, let me push forward. God, the Sherman looks pretty cool with the Fury thing. I've seen the movie, I didn't like the fight scene with the Tiger versus Sherman, and no, it's not because I'm German. Because if you get hit by an 88 on the side of a Sherman, I guarantee you it's going right through that thing like butter. And that would have, like, completely destroyed the Sherman. Like, completely destroyed it. But uh, that's another topic for another time, though. Alright, let me get up this hill. Wish I could use that 50 cal on the top, though. Just go... Oh, thank you for showing me your rear ass, buddy. No, 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 don't turn around. Don't turn around, buddy. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Okay. Yeah, because Germans do not like high explosives. <laughs> they don't like this. It's very, um, how do I say? Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, shit. I may die here. Oh, no, 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 no. They keep bagging me. Ah! Go back, go back, go back, go back. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I forgot their guns are so fucking OP. Okay, can I hit him without him hitting me? Yeah. Just gotta shuffle. 
Okay, track them. VK, get him! Stop looking at him and just shoot him! Okay, we got him, got him right back. Oh crap, that mess. Gunner, fucking aim! Ah, give him a big kick in the butt! Alright, a lot of what? Got him. Whew. All right, I have to grab this. See, I've already failed the um, one of the challenges. I had no choice. It was like either that or I was gonna die and then start the thing all over again. And you guys don't want to watch that all over again. <laughs> all right, let's try the high explosives again. All right, good. Knock that down. Uh, oh crap. Uh, oh. oh, I could have shot him in the rear end. That would have done so much damage. As you can kind of tell, these are AI bots. They're not really, um, how do I say, professional at blocking shit. So yeah, it's basically what you expect. They just don't do well. Okay, I can't pin him on the side with my explosives, but I can armor piercing him to death. There we go, ammo rack, and dead. But now I'm down two shots with the armor piercing. I really, really don't want to use high, you know, armor piercing high regiment is because one, that bullet is just OP. It's well it's not just OP, but it will cost me a lot of credits. A lot of credits. I'm trying to avoid it at all costs. Go around these guys. Okay, going around, going around, going around. Okay, they're retreating. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, ah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it! Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go around him. Pop one of his ass. No, that wasn't a lot of damage. Oh god, I'm gonna die here. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh shit! No! Damn it! Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of there, 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 get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, I got it, I got it! Jesus. Oh, is he still following me? Okay, he's dead. Oh my god, that was way too fucking close. That was way too fucking close. Oh my god, that was way too close. Oh, and I'm almost out of bullets. Um, uh, Can I tell my team just, just to go here and just attack the base without me? Hang on. I think I'm going to do that. I'm gonna tell him to attack over here. I know I'm not doing the final push, but oh my god, I don't want to do this again. Um, I need to go get a goddamn repair kit, and the only closest one is way down there. Because the other one is on the fucking hill. So I need to go over there and get it. And plus an ammo box. I'm gonna get the ammo thing. God dang, my gunner's dead too. This is gonna be a bitch. Now let's see what we got to deal with. Panzer 4. Panzer 4. They both can easily kill me. Even their stock gun can still pen through me. But then again, there's nothing to this armor. Oh my god, they're all Panzer IVs, really? Oh god, I'm gonna have to play this smart. Ah, dang it. I thought I would fire and that would go right through them. Stop shuffling! Stop shuffling! Stop everyday shuffling Germans! Oh god. That's right, burn to the fucking ground. 
Alright, one down. Jesus! Wait, why do you have a skirt? You got a Panzer four. Oh, you must be the tier four. Stop hitting me. Okay, I thought they were Panzer IV agents. Never mind, these tanks can't do shit. My bad. I thought they were Panzer IV agents, because every time I see Panzer IV, it, like, you remember the first day when this tank came out, like, uh, the Panzer IV age? It used to be called the Panzer IV without the skirts, and it was like a beautiful tank back then. I still remember that. I'm gonna ram this guy. Oh, the battlefield was littered with okay, the that, remains of German that worked. <laughs> Peters was thankful. Horses like um, my travel just. Oh, but this day was far from over. All right, Whew. that was too close for comfort. That was way too close. All right, it looks like I didn't complete anything because, like I said, I've beaten the game so many times. But if you complete bonus objectives and stuff like that, you'll get like permanent camouflage for the first time and all that. Emblems and all that. Makes it really worth it. And my friend still, <laughs> my friend just came on. Alright. I'm trying to debate what other tank to drive. Obviously it has to be American kind of way. Actually, what do I have selected? Oh, why do I have that on? I don't want a compatible. All right, let's see. We did that, we did that. Could drive the Vengeance, but I'm not really good with the Vengeance. Although it does make it an interesting video of playing a tank that I'm sort of not good at. Um, let's see, should I? Uh, Yeah, let's try it. Let's get let's give Vengeance a try. Let's give Germans something to be a little bit more afraid of besides that skull on the back. bloody morning, the advantage had swung from the Germans back to the Soviets. The preemptive strike had been curtailed. Peters, bolstered with captured enemy tanks, rejoined the main Russian force for the final assault. As they bore down on the German position, Peters was comforted by the thought that, if he fell, he would die surrounded by men he'd be proud to call brothers. This was it. If Peters could smash the enemy front line, Germany would be pushed out of Romania. Okay, we're in, guys. Oh, I already spotted the German snipers. Somewhere out there, enemy tank destroyers. All right, I'm gonna go this way. The I want to defense. take out those German snipers. Yeah, you never want to attack the north because if you attack the north without dealing with those German snipers on the ledge, they just keep pinning your rear end and when you're in cover. That's not good. So I'm gonna head this way instead with this T44. See if I can push up in the side. Okay, 
Oh, ah, I damaged his gun. God damn it. Come on, stick your head out again. Ooh, good hit. Uh, did they buff the damage on this? I don't remember seeing it doing 236. It was actually a little bit weaker than that. Then again, they might have. Hit him again. Alright, shoot him in the rear end. Hey, don't look at anybody. Jesus. Okay, we're hit again. And dead. Good. Oh, three tanks dead. Okay. Oh, sh <laughs> no wonder why you're saying SOS. That's a Tiger too. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have charged out. Uh, I gotta play as a medium. Go, do, go. Oh, fuck. That's a Tiger too. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. He come. <laughs> he spit in Spain. <laughs> You don't cough? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just trolling this tiger too, this poor guy. He's like, I don't remember this in history. When did they had a fucking Persian with a fucking small gun? Ah. <laughs> well, they kind of did, but they, um, not to later the war, but they didn't use it that much against the Germans. They were, it was like almost at the end. Ah, go fast, go fast, go fast, go fast, go fast. Oh, okay, he's retreating. No. No, 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 no. Thank you, objective. Oh, man. <laughs> How did I not get hit there? I literally just flanked around the guy. And it looks like they took in the north base. Huzzah. Ooh, fuck those are daytime. Hit theirs too. Okay, oh, no, 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 no. Whoa. And those boxes blocked my shot, their shot. Uh, yep. Oh, fuck me. Ah! No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I. Okay. Uh, okay. What if? The underbelly. Black. Hoo hoo. God damn this gun! Can it do any more damage than just doing that? Okay. I mean, it's like a tier seven kind of damage. It only does like two seventy one. Like, it reminds me of the Tiger's damage, like the Tiger 1 thing, or the Tiger 1 thing 1. Ow, that hit me finally. Oh, my luck went out. Alright, destroy the German snipers, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh, fuck. I hope that damage is gone. I know it damage is gone, but I hope that's like, broke it for a little while. And I think it did. Again, I, oh, you stupid T14, get out of my way. Get out of my way! <laughs> Man, this guy. Uh, really? Get out of my fucking way! Oh, you team sucks. Oh. Oh, shit, I'm loading EPCR. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna have to grab an ammo box, and there goes my secondary eject. See, you gotta also pick a tank too in these types of modes to make sure you have enough tanks with ammo. I should have switched it all to armor piercing, but where's the fun in that when you run out of ammo sometimes? <laughs> well, since I've ruined that objective, I might as well grab the um, repair kit. Do 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 do. Get me the parakeet. There we go. Health restored.
Okay, I'm going to single my team to push up over there. So my entire tanks will move up. Indian Panzer, Panzer 2. No, they're not bad to kill. Wait, update. Leopard PTA? I don't remember the Germans, but then again, I am breaking the fourth wall by just bringing a tank that's not belonging in these things. Now I'm going up against a Leopard PTA. Damn car. Sorry if you heard the car in the background, guys. Okay, okay. Oh, you fucking hit that mist. What is that? Okay, are you 251? What? Where did that bullet one? Okay, stay right there, Leopard PTA. Stay right there. Right up the bone. Actually, stay right there. Oh god. He sees me. Ah! No, 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 no. Leopard PTA, look somewhere else. Look somewhere else. Oh god, he's shooting me in the head. Oh god. What? Where's my teammates? Why am I the only one attacking these guys? It's a fucking. Ow! Tier 9! Get up there! Get up there, you Soviets! You're supposed to live like this! This was your battle strategy back then! Forward! Forward! <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Okay, Leopard PTA is almost down, but he's. Uh. Why a Leopard PTA though? It's like, out of all the tanks, that thing is annoying. You can pen it, yes, but it's really, really annoying to kill. There we go. God damn. Alright. Pushing up. And he's dead. He's dead. Who's left? Indian Panzer, RU 251. Get him. Focus on that guy. Put fire on him. Ow. Put fire on him. Please. Thank you. Then ram him. Victory ah, okay, good. To save her. Peter smiled and congratulated his Sherman crew. The battle had been intense and lasted several hours. The Germans had fought with dogged tenacity, determined to halt the Soviet advance. But the might of the Russian armor proved too strong. The German defenses had crumbled as the Shermans punched a hole right through them. Now nothing could stop Russia from knocking the Romanians out of the Axis. This day, this victory, belonged to Peters and his crew. Oop. Sorry guys, looks like my controller slept. Um, I need it. Ah, shit. Hang on, guys. Where's the... Oh, no. by his fellow crew members. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. That was probably a huge cutscene just wasted there. Dang it. Peters may have missed out fighting alongside his men in Normandy, but here, on the Eastern Front, he had found new brothers in armor he could stand shoulder to shoulder with. Okay, that's it. That is the story of Brotherhood of Arms. The first, basically, chapter of World Tank. Now, there's another chapter 
but I'm gonna save that for part two. Yeah, I unlocked nothing because I didn't complete no objectives. So yeah, out of all in all, this story mode's pretty fun and I'm gonna complete the British one, which is, hang on. The Flashpoint of Berlin, which is basically a liberation of my country after the war, during the Cold War era. So it began like the greatest, you know, conflict between communists and the allies. But that's another story to talk about in another video. But all in all, this is really fun. It's fun to play objectives, fun to do other things. Now there's other ones coming out, like there's this one. We repel the German for invasion from the UK. This is where they invaded um, England. And this is the one where um, Kennedy's War, which involves a nuclear testing facility. And you're trying to stop nuclear missiles from being fired from Cuba. So, we got more stories coming out. But sadly, we only got these two until the 29th. And it's as I heard on their website that they were going to bring out also the Swiss or the Swedes going to be out as well. But we don't know yet. But according to their website, they said we were supposed to have it. Alright, thank you all so much for watching, guys. I will see you very soon for part two on Flashpoint Berlin. And always, I will see you comrades in the next video. Bye, guys.